Well, there we go. We got both heads on. Got the rockers arm, rocker arms sitting in their order that they go in there. And now it's time to torque down the heads. <clears throat> now, uh, it's actually very important that you torque down the heads in the order that, uh, that they go. And some heads, when you torque them down, actually even have a, uh, have a, uh, well, like here, it says torque in steps, first to 75, then 95, then 105. What's going to be the most important, though, is the order that you torque them down in. Um, and that's what I'm actually going to find out right now. Okay, so I found the uh, tightening sequence here, and I've got the torque specs over here, so we're going to find some way right here to mark the books. Okay, and here's what we'll do. Um, now we have to torque them in steps, but it says all cylinder head bolt tightening or cylinder head bolt tightening sequence on all Ford V8 engines. And uh, you can see it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's really simple, but um, the reason it does that is you always start from the center. If you can't find the sequence, what you do is you always start from the center. And usually, this is a little abnormal than what I'm used to, but but uh, usually you'll go like one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to trying to work those bolts, you know, in a circle. What that does is when you when you uh, set your head gasket in there and when you torque down your bolts, it actually spreads that head gasket out. Instead of you know tightening here and then bunching up like so you know, it, it, uh, it spreads it evenly, so you get no chance for any ripples. So that's rather simple. Now we just got to go back to our torque specs in here. And uh, cylinder head bolts, 400, 95 to 105, but it's supposed to torque in steps, 75, 95, and 105. So you go 75 on all the bolts, you know, like so and then you go 95 and then you go 105 all back around it again so that's what I'm gonna do right this very minute Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, it would seem that I have stripped one of my head bolts, the head of it, somewhere along the way. And so, I'm going to have to find a way to get that one back out of there and put a different one in. There we go. 
Okay, now we'll go to our next stage, which is 95. Okay, then we go to the last stage at 105. Okay, now we've done the last stage. I always like to go back and just double check, make sure that we're all torqued to the proper specification. I don't want to have any mistakes at this point. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and we'll do this side the same exact way. And uh, then we can <clears throat> drop our lifters in, push rods, rocker arms, and intake. Okay, YouTube, <clears throat> it is Sunday morning, and I really want to have this Bronco out of the shed tonight, or out of the shop. Um, last night, I got it to this point. It's all together. Rolls over good. <clears throat> I rolled my number one cylinder <clears throat> up, to, uh, up to eight degrees before top dead center, so, and uh, on the uh, compression stroke, and so... I'm uh, ready to stab my distributor in. I've left a couple items off that are just going to kind of make it a little easier to get back in. I do still have to put the valve covers on before I, before I uh, drop it in the Bronco. It'll be easier to put them on now than later. And uh, I will just have to take it for granted that uh, when I go to prime the motor up that everything's getting oiled. Now since this uh, video is uh, about, you know, engine, in, not in, in, since this video is about, blah, 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 is about uh, engine assembly and not engine installation, I'm not going to take much video of me putting the motor in. The uh, next video will probably be of me stabbing the cam, or stabbing the cam, stabbing the distributor in there. And uh, then after that, I will be showing you the cam break-in procedure that I use. So, um, don't expect a lot of installation tips. Um, other than that, though, uh, I'm going to get to work. I want to have this thing done today.